great. I work in a school in Manchester at the moment, and, and they are a bit mad. I was doing a, I'm a design technology teacher, but a couple of weeks ago, I was doing a cover lesson for a geography teacher who's off at the moment, and they were doing about farming, about agriculture, and it was a lesson on irrigation. So I said, what do you know about irrigation? What can you tell me about it? And this little lad puts his hand up and he says, yeah, my dad's told me all about irrigation. He says it's ruining the country and they should all bugger off back <laughs> home where they came from. <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> said, who's your dad? Tommy Robinson. <laughs> <Little prick. laughs> uh, but um, I, I did, I got in trouble myself a couple of weeks ago when the exams were on. Have we got any teachers in tonight? <laughs> a couple of teachers. Right. Did you know when a GCSE exam is on, you can't take the exam paper out of the hall? Yeah, yeah I didn't fucking know that. <laughs> I got in right shit. What happened, right? It was Friday afternoon, and it was the design technology. It was my exam, right? Now, Friday afternoon last year, I'm free. It's great. So, honestly, I'm like clockwork. Every Friday, five to two, time to take a poo. Like clockwork, honestly. And Thursday night is curry night with the lads, so by two o'clock on a Friday, that baby's sticking its head out, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm like, I'm like a lot of men, you know, I like to take my time over these things. I like to take a bit of reading in with me. So what I did was, the exam was just starting, I nipped in, got the exam paper, and buggered off to the bog, right? And I'm in there for a good 30 or 40 minutes, you know, I'm making the most of this. It's on work time, sat there. And honestly, well, he, we talk about difficult birth. I thought I was going to need a C-section, to be honest. Was it nice? But after about 30 minutes or so, there's a knock on the door. I thought, fucking hell, who's that? And I open the door, and there's three of them. The head teacher's there, right? The exams officer and the invigilator from the hall. And the invigilator points at me. She said, that's him. Get him in quarantine. I said, don't be ridiculous. I know it stinks, but bloody hell. <laughs> It's a bit much, isn't it? She said, no, you stupid man. You've taken a paper out of the exam. You can't speak to anyone till the exam's over. Get in isolation. So they did. They put me in the isolation unit with the naughty kids. <laughs> Some of these kids, I'd put there myself at the start of the day. Talk about intimidating. It was like, you know, on TV when a bent copper gets sent down <laughs> and all the inmates are after him. I was really intimidated. I had a year nine lad looking at me like that. Some kid in year eight gave me a note. It said, snitches get stitches. She ain't done anything, you dickhead. Right. And then this, this little fat year seven lad who's in there all the time slides up to me and he says, hey, sir, while you're in here, anything you want, you come and see me. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I can get you Chewy, Starburst, Haribo, anything you want. The little fucker ran the place. <laughs> So, yeah, I did. It was quite... I got into a lot of trouble, and I've got a, a, a letter from the exam board warning me of future conduct. Black mark against my name. Don't give a shit. It was worth it. I went in with a fiver. Came out with fucking loads of Haribo. Who's <laughs> 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 laughing now? But, see, I think that this is the problem these days. I mean, when you're a teacher, it's the way kids are brought up. Kids are all right, but the way they're brought up, it's not easy. Have we got parents in tonight? Yeah. If you put it's not easy. We're having trouble with our oldest lad at the moment. Our oldest lad is called Luke. Now, our Luke is a 17-year-old goth, right? No? <laughs> Lovely lad, but a proper knobhead. <laughs> Honestly, right? I took him out the other weekend. It was the hottest day of the year. We took him out. He turns up in his full goth kit, right? All in black. He's got his boots on. He's got his hood up over his face. He's wearing his cloak thing. And he's smoking one of these e-cigarettes. So I said, hey, up, what have you come as? Darth Vapor. It was good, right? I said, what have I told you about smoking these things, lad? And he went, oh, who do you think you are? I said, Luke, I am your father. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he fucking hates me. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm a, I'm a responsible parent. Um, got two younger ones. They're only five and six. I can remember the name then. But the, the, the age. But they said to me today, he said, Daddy, can we come and watch you tonight? He said, We love funny things. We've never been to see you do comedy. Can we come and watch? I was like, Whoa, not that. Are we completely inappropriate? I said, Listen, it's Liverpool. People will be drinking the funny juice that makes mummy fall down. <laughs> I said, We'll be using the naughty words. I said, It'd be completely irresponsible to bring you in tonight. So I've just left him in the car down the road. <laughs> Fuck him. Um. <laughs> 